good morning children today we are going to see the rules otherwise the properties of subtraction if you know these rules it will be easy for your calculation you know you you need not to do all the steps in calculation no directly you can write the answer that only you are going to see the first one subtracting zero okay let's take a example now suppose if you have a number 15 from 15 if you minus 0 0 means nothing we cannot minus nothing from any uh, any quantity no any number you have that means suppose you have 15 pencils and uh, your sister has nothing can you minus both you cannot minus nothing is zero no you cannot minus so when you minus 0 from any number you will get the answer the number itself when you minus 0 from any number the answer you will get it the same number it can be any number any bigger amount no see if you take like this four digit number or five digit number any number if it is there if you minus 0 the difference is the number itself but 0 should not come in the first place you cannot write like this 0 minus 15 this is not possible okay from nothing you cannot minus 15 okay but from 15 you can minus 0 so this is wrong this way you cannot to do this way you can do you can minus 0 from any number but the difference will be the number itself that is the first rule so whenever zero comes in you not to sit and do the calculation taking your fingers and doing like that directly you can write the number itself next one subtracting one suppose if you take if you take 9 from 9 You are minusing one, so if you minus one, the answer is eight. So if you compare this nine and eight, the eight comes just before nine, just before nine. So before number we say we call it this one predecessor. The before number we call it predecessor. So when you minus one from any number, the difference will be the predecessor of the number. Suppose if you take hundred from hundred, if you minus one, so most of the children they like this they write, and they again finding it difficult to borrow to, to borrow and write. No, they make lot of mistake. So whenever this one comes directly, you can write just the predecessor of the number. So before hundred, what is the number is there? Ninety nine. So that is the answer. So if you subtract one, the difference will be the predecessor of the number. It can be any bigger number. suppose i am giving the number see the five digit number from here i am minusing one so you have to minus one so the predecessor of the number predecessor means before number so to find the before predecessor just you have to look, observe the number in the ones place so here what is the two is there so predecessor of two that means the before number of two is what one so the answer will be Seventy-nine thousand forty-one. Seventy-nine thousand forty-one. That the, this is the answer. Now let's see the next rule: subtracting a number from itself. So a number we are taking from that number, the same number we are going to subtract. Let's take a number now, eight. So from eight, the same number we are minusing. Eight number from itself. So the number from itself, if you minus eight minus eight zero, so it can be any bigger number if you take. So if you minus the number from itself, the answer will be zero. Subtracting a number from itself, you will get this difference will be zero. Okay, now let me say the uh, let me remind you the three rules again once again. When you subtract from zero, uh, uh, any when you subtract zero from any number, the difference will be the number itself. Once again, I tell you, when you subtract zero from any number, the difference is the number itself. Again, second rule: when you subtract one from any number, the difference will be the predecessor of the number. When you subtract one from any number, the difference will be the predecessor of the number. Again, the third one: when you subtract a number from itself, the difference will be zero. When you subtract a number from itself, the difference will be zero. So these three rules, if you remember, you need not to do many. You can avoid lot of calculation. You can directly write the answer. 
so this can be asked in the exam also i can ask you in filling the blanks like uh, when you subtract one from any number the difference is dash i can ask so i don't give any number here so you must know the difference is the predecessor okay so this is the way i, I will be asking okay so remember this one in addition we saw one more property there order of addends we saw no the same thing here order of numbers is there the same that property let us check here okay whether this that property or the addition property whether it is applicable here okay let's see here i am taking two number for order of addends we need two numbers no commutative property so here i am taking two numbers so the one number is 12 and the other number is i am taking 4 So twelve minus four, twelve minus four. What do you get? Eight. So order now we are we will change the order. So now four is in second order, so it will come in first order, and twelve is in first order, it will come in the second order. If you minus four minus twelve, can you minus four is small, twelve is big. You cannot minus, so it's not possible. Okay, so here the answer is. we will not get the answer okay so we cannot minus the big number from a small number but here we can minus okay you will learn in higher classes that numbers you will know it you are learning only the natural numbers okay in natural numbers you cannot minus a small number from the uh, no a big number from the small number but you will learn in higher classes again different types of number there is one one type is the integers there you will be able to minus a a uh, big number from a small number okay but here in natural numbers we cannot minus a small number uh, big a big number from a small number so it is not possible so here the commutative property the order of odd uh, order of uh, the numbers is not possible here that property is uh, cannot be, it is not applicable for subtraction the same two properties you learned in addition no associative property and commutative property that both the pro properties will not be applicable for subtraction it is only applicable for addition and multiplication it is not applicable for subtraction and division you will learn later let's see next one subtracting 10 100 1000 etc this same thing you had in addition also adding 10 100 1000 etc that is the same thing okay both are the same so when you add 10 you add at 1 with 1 uh, in the number in tens place isn't it same way here you will subtract 1 in tens place so uh, let me take an example now so from here you have to minus 10 if you minus to minus 10 this you are minusing 10 no so in tens place just you minus 1 tens place what number is there 5 is there so from 5 we have to minus 1 So if you minus one, what you will get four. So only this tens place will change. Ones place the number is two, it will remain the same. Hundreds place zero is there, it will remain the same. Thousands place eight is there, it will remain the same. Only the change will be there in tens place. Just you have to minus one from the tens place. That's all is the change. Okay, let me take another number now to minus hundred. So here we have to minus hundred. So we will minus one in hundreds place. Since we are minusing hundred, we will minus one in hundreds place. So here the hundreds place the number is seven. So here only we will minus one. So seven minus one, what you will get six. So in hundreds place it will be six. Thousands place there is four is there, no? So that will remain the same. And in tens place five is there, that will remain the same. In ones place six is there, that also will remain the same. Okay, so the change will be only in hundreds place. Next, let's have an example for minusing thousand. Since we are minusing thousand, we will minus one in thousands place. So here in thousands place three is here. So from three we will minus one. So if you minus one, three minus one, you will get two. Other place will remain the same. Ten thousands place two is there. That will remain the same. Hundreds place nine will remain the same. Thousands place no. Tens place six. 
6 will remain the same, 1 plus 7, 7 will remain the same. So, the change will be only in thousands place. So, this is also easy. Don't do the long calculation. After all teaching, I saw in uh, one of your copies, no, those who came for correction, uh, those who submitted for correction, they had written arranging and they wrote like this, addition, no. This is shortcut rules are taught, the short tricks are taught. For, for what it is taught in your book, the child, this uh, headings are given, why they are asking you, uh, why they are giving you to learn this one. So that you will learn the short tricks to do the calculation, to lessen your calculation. But after all teaching, if you are not applying, how you will learn? You have to apply. Okay, uh, for you maybe you are learning the tricks, tricks will take time for you to learn. Okay, but once you practice, it will be automatically your mind will follow. You need not to do even think of it, how, what to do. Your mind will automatically follow. First few, few times you have to remain your mind, do this way, do this way. But after that your mind will take automatically. But one, if you are not applying what you are learning in your calculation, you will forget and it will not come also. You will, you will forget and you will not be able to practice afterwards. So once the short tricks and whatever the rules have uh, taught you to make the calculation faster and quicker, practice that one, apply that one in your calculation, in all whatever calculation. In exam, no, for you, what is easy for you that you do? But in your homework, you try to do all whatever the short tricks and whatever is taught, the rules that you try to do because you have enough time no? at home you can do it but in exam you will not have enough time you have that three hours within that you have to finish so there for you which comes quick that you do but in homework you can take your own time and slowly you practice whatever the rules and regulation is given so if you follow this one in exam you need not wait automatically it will come okay so practice hard so that you, you for you the mass will become easier but math, the, it is not necessary to become easier, no? You have to learn to do the calculation faster also. These are, uh, these rules are taught to make the, uh, to do the calculation faster and quicker. Okay, you can do any method. It is not, in math, it is not compulsory that you have to do this method. But these methods are taught to make the calculation uh, easier plus the main important this to teach these rules is to make it quicker, no? So that you will be, uh, you will not waste your time. You can do the sums within the limited time. Many of you are not able to do the sums, all the sums in the exam within the three hours. The reason is you don't do all the short, short tricks. You go for all the long methods. For you the long methods sometimes it looks easier. Since you are not practicing the short methods, so it, it takes you, uh, it is, it is, it, it, you forget otherwise it becomes difficult for you. So you go for always the long method. When you do the long method, it takes long time and you will not be able to finish the calculation within a time, no, within the proper time. So at home itself practice, that is the way only you can do maths well. Okay, faster you can do. Thank you.